Greetings to all of you and God bless you today. I hope everybody's doing well. Folks, I'm going to keep saying it every time I come on here. Jesus is coming and Jesus is coming one day very, very, very soon. Folks, a few years ago, if you would have asked me if we would see the craziness in the insanity that we're seeing in this world today, I would have said no way. But I fast forward to today and how crazy and how insane it is all over the world. And all I can say, if you have eyes to see, you will see the Bible said this is exactly what it would look like in the last days. I mean, this is pure insanity. This is just in from the New York Post, a recent article titled, Transgender Woman, uh, make no mistake about it, folks, this is a man. Tra transgender Woman wins Miss Netherlands pageant for the first time and actually has a shot at Miss Universe. So let me translate to you, translate this to you. A man has just won the Miss Netherlands pageant for the first time and has a shot at Miss Universe. Let me read some of this to you. A transgender woman, this is a man, has been crowned Miss Netherlands for the first time, setting up a historic shot at becoming Miss Universe. So they're actually going to give a man a chance to become Miss Universe? That's insane. Rikai Valerie Cole, 22 years old, held her hands over her mouth in shock as she was named the winner on Sunday to a soundtrack of the Sia song, Unstoppable. Some of the other finalists standing at the back of the stage looked at each other, with some appearing to grimace awkwardly at the unprecedented decision. The Miss Netherlands official Instagram page also celebrated the win by the beautiful trans contestant. This finalist shined throughout the show and has also made the greatest progress along the way, the pageant wrote of the judge's decision. The win means Cole will compete in Miss Universe, which is now owned by Anne Jacrotipa, if I'm saying that right, who is a transgender Thai woman. So not only has a trans transgender woman been crowned Miss Netherlands and could possibly become Miss Universe, but uh, Miss Universe is also owned by a transgender Thai woman. But years ago, if you would have told me that this is something that would really happen, I would have been like, oh, there's no way. But here we are, folks. Again, a transgender woman, a man has won the Miss Netherlands pageant for the first time and actually has a shot at becoming Miss Universe. This is sick, and it is pure insanity. But this should not surprise us because Jesus said the last days would look exactly like this. People are calling evil good and they're calling good evil. And if you're the one that speaks out against these things, you are the one that is called evil. But you know what? I'm going to go back to what the Apostle Paul records in the book of Romans, chapter 1, verse 28 to 32. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient, being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whisperers, backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful, who knowing the judgment of God, that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. Make no mistake about it, we are living as it was in the days of Noah and as it was in the days of Lot. They have been given over to a reprobate mind. Jesus is coming soon. Again, years ago, you could have told me that stuff, stories like this and others that are happening almost on an hourly basis now, more like a secondly basis, uh, you would have told me stuff like this would happen. I would have laughed at you. But now I look at what my Bible says, and Jesus said the last days would look exactly like this. Jesus is coming soon. And all I can tell you, if you're not saved and you're watching this video right now, you can get saved right now. This isn't about religion. What do you have to do to be saved? Put your faith and your trust 
in the blood of Jesus Christ right now. Believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. The sin debt that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with them forever in heaven. So you're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven and he's the only name that can save you. Heaven and hell are very real literal places and you will spend an eternity in one of those destinations. Hell's a real place. Eternal torment, eternal separation from God. I don't want you to go there. Jesus does not want you to go there. But if you die without him, you will be separated from God for eternity in hell. And I am going to tell you the truth because I love you. Don't wait another second. Put your faith and your trust in the blood of Jesus right now. Believe he died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. And do it now because tomorrow is not promised. And make no mistake about it, Jesus is coming, and he's coming one day, very, very, very soon. Keep looking up, keep watching with me, and God bless you all.